Hi, I'm Andrew Parkinson, Editor-in-Chief of Cruising World, and I'm here at the Annapolis Boat Show on an exciting new boat, the Island Spirit 525E. I'm standing here with my new friend, Philip Winter. Philip is the CEO of Inspired Yachting. They're the exclusive dealer for Island Spirit. Philip, uh, we're standing in the flybridge area of the boat right now. We're gonna take a look at the rest of the boat soon. What's the general purpose, the intention behind the Island Spirit 525? The boat has a couple of purposes. It's built incredibly strong to be a world cruising boat. And that was the primary intention. We also wanted to have a boat that could have maximum number of cabins to place into charter. Amazing, and the E uh, is very important, electric. This is an all electric boat, is that correct? Designed from the inception for electric. There is a diesel option, but so far all of the orders have been placed for the electric version. We have the largest battery bank in its class by far, four or five times the typical for a 52 foot boat. Big motor, so you can motor fast, motor long, and do it silently. And with a boat of this size uh, and, and built with these intentions, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, we're going to take a look at some of the key uh, talking points on this boat, starting here with the flybridge, which is just a massive open space here. There's a beautiful dining table behind us. That's a great social area, seating for 8, 10 people dining, but 12, 15, 18, I think we've had uh, as many as 30 people uh, hanging out up on the flybridge. All of the controls are right here at the helm station. Electric winches, electric furler standard for the self-tacking jib. Everything is right here, the electric control system and navigation, so it's a single hand or single control boat. What's the standard sail plan on this boat? Well, we have 1,905 square feet of upwind sail area between the main and self-tacking jib and the helm position is a little bit further forward than we see commonly, and I love this because I'm looking right out over the bow. Visibility is excellent. I can see pretty much 360 all around me. Just a you know, really nice accessible helm area with everything you need right here within arm's reach. So now we've made our way down and forward to the forward cockpit area, which is also another massive space. Very impressive for a 52 foot hull. On our way here, there's handrails everywhere you need to reach. So, you know, no fear of walking around the side decks underway. I was impressed, I just noticed, very solid, very stable, it just feels like a very, very durable boat, even though I understand the boat's quite lightweight. Tell us about that. Yeah, the boat uh, comes in at 17 and a half tons. It is built uh, vacuum infused and foam core, double 30 mil foam core on all of the hulls that provide a very solid build, as well as some good sound insulation, heat insulation. The hull is so solid, other than the crash bulkhead forward and the engine room bulkhead all the way aft, no bulkheads needed in the structure of the hull. And what we're seeing a trend here on this boat is social spaces. Uh, seating for a dozen people up here, so the boat is built to have a lot of social advantages. Excellent. And a little bit of net area, that's always appreciated. So we've just moved into the salon area of the Island Spirit 525E, greeted by a nice island area here. It just feels like a very social space. L-shaped galley, nice vertical windows all around. You get good natural light in here and you have a very good sense of protection inside here too. So tell us a little bit about this area and maybe the layout in general. When the idea for an island came up, I was pretty skeptical. But when I saw the first boat come out with the island, I was more than impressed. In addition to the full home-sized refrigerator freezer, there's the space for two additional freezer refrigerator spaces. And when we talk about layout options for this boat, between three to six staterooms, this is the six stateroom version. Tell us a bit more about the, what you get with the stateroom, different versions and all that. It's up to six cabins with all ensuite heads. In this version, four of the heads are dry heads, full, big showers. The two aft cabins have wet heads, but the three cabin is full owner side, or most of our owners have been ordering a master stateroom with an office or workspace forward, and two or three cabins on the starboard side. Here we are in the cockpit. Again, another large amount of space. Uh, excellent entertaining area. Tell us about it. Well, this cockpit's designed for lots of people to hang out and relax. Uh, but also, the table arrangement is our charter table. Both leaves fold out so we can seat 12 people. That was really important. Uh, most charter boats with six cabins really don't have a space where you can sit 12 people all having a meal at the same time. Well, Philip, thanks for taking the time to walk you through the boat today. I think you got a really impressive model here, and you should note that this boat, the Island Spirit 525E, is an official nominee for Cruising World's Boat of the Year here at the Annapolis Show. Philip, thanks again. All right, thank you.